What's up, dear viewers? Today I will show you how to design a bolt and a nut in AutoCAD. So this is another AutoCAD 3D tutorial. So um, I will start by opening a new drawing. So you can see this bolt and a nut. Just start a new drawing. Okay, then you can see this setting here. Uh, make sure you switch your workspace to 3D modeling. And then it is very important to check the unit you're working in. I want to work in millimeters. So type DWG units. And then just click that. I want to make sure that I'm working in millimeters. I'm currently working in inches, so just change that to three. That is millimeters. Then hit enter. Just type three, enter, 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 enter. Okay. Now I'm currently working in uh, millimeters. Then I can go to dim style, type dim style, select that. Then I can modify. Make sure my primary unit is decimal, um, just like that. Okay, and close. So I will draw a circle of about 20 millimeters. So type, um, that's not a circle. I want to draw a, a polygon. Then I want six sides, enter. And then inscribed in a circle, I want um, 20. Hit enter. Okay, I want to remove these here, these uh, YX coordinates, so I'll type UCS icon, and then change to an origin. I will draw um, a circle now. Okay, because I can't see the center of this polygon, I I will just use a line. So activate line from this point, that point. Hit enter, and I'll draw a circle about the midpoint. If you can't see midpoint, make sure uh, you snap object, make sure this is checked. So um, I will draw another circle about the same center. Now this time 10. So the next thing is just to copy, drag a copy at that point. Then I um, can just type zoom extend so that I can be able to zoom. Okay, I will change this to isometric view. Just click that icon there. Um, I will use this um, change here to extrude. You can see it's currently in sweep, so I want activate extrude and then I want to select that and that then right click hit enter then type 20 enter so I can switch from 2d wireframe to realistic okay then I want to subtract solid you can see that icon so I'll click that icon I will click that Right click, enter, and then click that uh, circle inside, and then hit enter. Okay, then I want to extrude uh, this. Right click, enter, then type 20. Then I want to use fillet at this point, uh, three, 
enter and then select the other end, then hit enter. Then I want to um, intersect solid. So I'll click, I'll first click that solid and this one and then hit enter. So I can just rotate that. I want now to uh, design thread uh, for this nut. So I'll go to draw and then I want to activate helix. Um, still about uh, that center. 10, uh, diameter uh, radius of 10. And then the top radius is also 10. Um, I'll type tons. I need um, 10. And then my height is 20. Hit enter. So I want to use the sweep command. So I'll draw a circle uh, right here. Diameter of about 0 0.5, hit enter. And then I will change this to sweep command. Then the sweep object is this. Right click, enter. Then the sweep path is this helix. Okay. Then I will use the command subtract, subtract solid. So I will select that object and that, right click. Enter, enter. Okay, now we have uh, designed our nut. So the next thing we need, I, I mean, we have designed our board, so we need to design the nut. So I can repeat the same process. I will change sweep to extrude. Then this point, right click, enter, about 60, enter. Okay, then I will extrude. This one, right click, enter, again 20, enter. Again, I will extrude this circle, right click, hit enter, again 20, that's the thickness. Uh, the wrong side, so let me just undo. Extrude, that one, right click, enter. Again, type 20, hit enter. Okay, so I will activate fillet, fillet uh, about that point. I will type, uh, let's say 1.5, enter. And then this side, uh, radius of three, enter. Okay. Then uh, I will use uh, intersect solid. So this option, click, select that one and uh, this one, right click and enter to intersect. Okay, then we can see we have designed our nut, but we need now to design the uh, threads. So I'll again activate, go to draw, Activate helix about that. Uh, again, 10, a radius of 10. Then top radius is also 10. Okay, so I will click on turns. So click turns. I want um, 20 turns. Hit enter. And then I will go down like that. I want it to be uh, 40, 
hit enter. Because this one was 60 and then this is 20, so we remain with 40. So again, I will draw a circle because I want to use the sub command from that about radius of 0 0.5, hit enter. Then change this one extrude to sweep uh, from that. That is the sweep object. Right click, enter, and then the sweep path is these helix. Okay. Uh, finally, uh, we need to use uh, subtract solid. So I'll click subtract that one. Um, enter. So let me repeat the process. Activate subtract, enter, and then uh, select the helix, enter. The final step is to use the un uh, solid union. So select solid union, and then select the object, right click. Uh, to uh to, to to like it's like enter then in a, in those simple steps we have been able to complete our bolt and nut design in AutoCAD. So this will mark the end of this video. If you like this video, please subscribe. I will see you uh in the next video. Thanks for watching.